This video is going to explain the connection between the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino compatible microcontroller on the Andino X1 board. In general, Andino boards can be thought of as being built of many different modules, with the two of the modules being at the core of the Andino board being the Raspberry Pi and the microcontroller. While both of these modules can compute data, they are suitable for different kinds of tasks. The Raspberry Pi has very high processing power and can be used for resource-intensive tasks. The microcontroller has less processing power, but can run firmware at a very precise timing. This is ideal for time-critical tasks like reading impulses from board inputs or controlling relays. For this, the default firmware on the microcontroller can be used that comes pre-installed with every device. Since data processing and connectivity usually takes place on the Raspberry Pi, establishing communication between the Pi and the Arduino is usually very necessary. To enable this communication, first shut down the Raspberry Pi, disconnect the power cable, and make sure that the jumpers on the X1 board are set to the Raspberry Pi position. The jumpers can be found right next to the micro USB port. Afterwards, power on the Raspberry Pi again. Communication between the Raspberry Pi and microcontroller takes place via a serial interface in a text command and response style. The interface can, for example, be accessed via Node-RED or the Andino TCP server that is scheduled for release in the second half of 2021. These tutorials will be linked here once they're available, and more information can also be found on andino.systems. All the links to the relevant articles will be in the video description. However, for testing purposes, the connection can also be established with a piece of software called Minicom. To test the connection with Minicom, first log into your Raspberry Pi via SSH. I did this via PuTTY on Windows. Afterwards, we need to download Minicom itself. To do this, type in sudo apt install minicom. After the installation is complete, we now need to set up the serial port. To do so, type in sudo minicom dash dash setup. Here, navigate to serial port setup Click A to enter the serial device and make sure that it's slash dev slash tty ama0. Afterwards hit enter. Also make sure by pressing F that hardware flow control is turned off and by pressing E that the bits per second is set to 38400. Afterwards press enter to cancel out of this menu. Then navigate to Save Setup as Default and click that. And now go to Exit. You should now be in the main interface of Minicom and already receive some status messages. The number immediately after the colon represents a counter that essentially just counts up all the serial messages that have arrived. The three numbers after that are counters for the individual inputs of the board. So essentially every time the board receives a pulse on a certain input, the number will increment by one. And finally, the last three numbers represent whether an input is turned on at the moment or turned off. One for on and zero for off. You can also run commands in this interface. A list of all commands can be displayed by running help. Further explanations of all commands can also be found on andino.systems and a link for the relevant article can of course also be found in the video description. Some of the most important commands are send and after that a number. This essentially specifies the number of milliseconds that lays between two status messages. Another important command is rel1 1 to turn on the first relay. And when you run this command, you should hear a click at the relay. You can turn off the relay again by running rel1.0. The second relay can be turned on by running rel2.1 and rel2.0. 
zero. The exact hardware of your Andino board can be configured using the hard command. For full documentation on this, please visit andino.systems. If you finally want to cancel out of Minicom again, press Ctrl A and after that X. Now confirm that you want to leave Minicom. Thank you for watching this introduction on how to connect the Raspberry Pi to the microcontroller on the Andino X1.